I'm Daria, the Ukrainian who is living in Tbilisi and loves the city truly, madly and deeply. I was expecting something really good and it was like that. I just landed, I, I was flying from Kiev to here, I landed, looked at the airport of Tbilisi and thought, that's it. And uh, night Tbilisi, it was a good impression, a lot of lights uh, and it was big and beautiful. And the people I met here for the first time, they were also really nice and supportive. The Ukrainian women are always asked about that. Well, I like them because they are real gentlemen. It's a big treasure now. Uh, real gentlemen, most of them are um, brave. And yeah, mm, most of them are handsome. Uh, yeah, and most of them are clever. And there are um, almost every friend of mine here in Georgia is like that clever, handsome and gentleman. About Georgian women, they are really beautiful. I like this Georgian beauty and I wish I could look like that, really. And um, sometimes they talk even more than I do. And it's really surprising for me because I was the most talkative person I met in my life, probably. <laughs> Uh, and they're very kind and very supportive. I don't think we will be accepted in the European Union, but European community, I mean mentally, we are the Europeans, uh, because uh, we know what uh, people life worth is, and um, we can appreciate uh, the dignity of people, and um, we can be, I don't know, uh, we know what, basically we know what human rights are and it's very important for European community and I hope that the rest of our countries who just, who are just afraid of something or like that, they will uh, overcome it and uh, that they will um, understand why it's important to be the member of European community and European um, way of thinking, it's, it's really important. For me, Georgia is more European than Asian. Uh, there are some features of both cultures, but um, in Germany I have heard um, one phrase about Uzgule, that it's balcony of, uh, about Georgia, that Georgia is balcony of Europe. So yeah, I'm standing at the balcony and looking like that and yeah, it's more Europe than Asia, I, I'm sure. Our people are too tired of the corrupted system and uh, of, of people who just don't pay attention to them. The, our politicians, unfortunately, they just they don't care about us. And um, both the opposition and the main party, uh, they just don't care what people think because they don't... Um, they don't find any solution, seems like they don't want to do it. And uh, I'm really proud of the people who are protesting there because they have enough braveness to say what they want. People just don't give up, never give up. Uh, I hope that we will have the better future, the future we deserve. First, I thought there is nothing bad here, but now I know that Georgian Post is really bad because I wanted to uh, send something from Germany to a friend of mine and it's been delivered till now since October and I think it will not be there. Uh, and I have not seen the uh, anything for delivering post here, <laughs> so I hope it will improve. Yeah, Georgian Post is not my favorite one. <laughs> I think Georgian nation is strong enough and brave enough and I like that you have the traditions and you keep them. Um, I wish you to be open to the other cultures but not, lose, not to lose your own and to keep this unique 
parts you have, for example, this Svan culture, Mangrelli culture is also very important, but I do appreciate you for having this whole Georgian nations above everything. I do appreciate it and I wish that it remains like that. Yeah, actually, I was looking for an <laughs> opportunity to say how I loved Belize because, um, you know, um, all the cities are like uh, people. And for me, I liked Belize because it's young and old at the same time. Uh, and uh, despite of all these uh, parts of the city that seem not to be beautiful, it, they are beautiful. And uh, I met a lot of people from Belize who dislike the city, and I really can't understand it because. It just has soul and I love this Tbilisi soul and I'm happy to be part of it. Dear Georgian nation, I just love you. Thank you that you are here on this earth and this world. <laughs> now what I would like to ask you to say one little Georgian phrase because everybody says it. It's, it's like... Bakak it's half kiki nips. That is the key to become Georgian. <laughs> Isao Presa Kartveloze, speak up about Georgia. <laughs> <laughs>